We were just having fun. We weren't even thinking of a band or anything. Sometimes music just grows organically. Musicians start playing, each with his own style, and figure out what to call it later. In the case of Hawaiian, Hawaii Island's Leche de Tigre, what emerged was gypsy Latin funk. Guitarist and founding member Dan Bauer starts at the beginning. The whole story starts in, in Kona here. Um, I grew up, I was born in New York City. I was I lived over there and, and moved here about six years ago, uh-huh. and I uh, I was teaching music over there um, in college, and I came over here and I started getting into you know building a house and living here. And when I was done doing all that, I wanted to get back into teaching. And uh, ceviche Dave Dave Weaver he has a, a ceviche bar over here in Kona, and he was one of my first students. And we would get together on Thursday nights and practice. And he liked uh, he liked flamenco style kind of music um nylon the nylon string he was really interested in in that and playing like like uh jesse cook and benisi um and i said yeah sure i never really tried this this style of music before but we can we can learn it together and that just kind of grew from there every week um we'd have a couple other people he'd tell somebody else and we'd have a couple more you know students and we just jam you know we'd learn these easy three chord songs and it would give me, you know, I, you know, an advanced player could play, you know, they could solo over it and we could throw them back and forth. And the beginners uh, can easily pick it up, you know, the three core, E minor, A minor, B7 kind of kind of grooves and stuff. But your your goal was to create a dance groove, yeah? Um, you know, but back then we were just having fun. We weren't even thinking of a band or anything, you know. It, um, but then eventually we started seeing, like, you know, we started having so much fun with it, and we, we just kind of kept taking it to the next level. We found a percussionist, um, and, you know, every week we, we met somebody different, and we'd have all these great guests come in, and um, the place ended up being packed, and we had to move outside. Um, but, yeah, it was always it was always kind of like getting it, keeping a, making music or playing music that was fun, danceable. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a little different, too. Well, I mean, by describing yourself as a gypsy Latin funk band, that's a fusion you don't hear about every day. Yeah, yeah, you know what, and so we started playing a lot, and everybody's asking us, you know, what is this? You know, we're trying to put our press kit together, you know, all the stuff you go through with a band. Mm-hmm. you got to identify your stuff, and it, it took us forever. You know, we would throw things around, and finally, I'm like, we got to get this press kit done one night, and we sat down, the whole band, and I think it took like two hours of just throwing stuff back and forth and we weren't going to leave until we we figured it out and it was way longer than that in the beginning but we kind of narrowed it down to those three things that all of us kind of brought to kind of the music we play latin comes from like the spanish guitar sound the gypsy you know we love you know we uh django reinhardt Mm -hmm, sure um huge influence in, in me you know um that kind of sound you know he plays like and his guitar is like a, it's a steel string. It's kind of a you know a cross between nylon and steel. He had, you know that sound and those mm-hmm. fast solos and you know he's just unbelievable. Um, and then the funk comes from you know just the beat, the rhythm. You know our drummer that plays with Lechi Tigre, he's a you know rock and roller mm-hmm. you know, from the seventies. He's always played. You know that's his style, and um, it kind of brought that kind of rock kind of funk feel to it. And um, that's what we came up with. And we all were very, very happy once we got it done. <laughs> I bet. Well, yeah. you, you know, Dan, uh, uh, what's interesting to me is that you 
you had the you had the music first, and then you had to come up with a name for it. But yeah. the music yeah. sort of sounds like it came together pretty much just from what everybody brought to the table. Yeah. Yeah, it was so it was so organic. You know, like even the name, the name Leche de Tigre comes from ceviche. You know, that's that's a part of the ceviche that they call um, you know the, the fish juice in the bottom in South America. Mm-hmm. So that was all kind of roots from that and from where it all began and. That was pretty interesting, you know, in, in a in a in a year time what happened from just a guitar lesson to you know, we we ended up playing our first gig at the Blue Dragon, which is one of the um highest rated live entertainment places on the big island. Sure, sure. That's the that's the happening joint, huh? You get a and pretty I, good response, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we had a good response. And you know, we were uh when we were playing of course, you know, first gig in the band, you see somebody out in the audience that makes it kind of uncomfortable, which was Neil Young walks in with his family. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> and our, first, you know, and I'm going, oh my, look at this. Because, you know, I've been in bands since high school, and I never, never really got, you know, I've never seen it move this quickly before. It's always a struggle, you know, you got to, mm-hmm. you know. But back then, we had 15 people in the band, too, so everybody told five of their friends, and we had, a, you know, a packed house. <laughs> Visit LDTBand.com, Leche de Tigre on Facebook and YouTube for lots more information and show dates. Leche de Tigre, LDTBand.com.